One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. Link is in the description. What's up, everyone? It's Tom Diesel here. Uh, I hope you guys had a great weekend. Uh, you know, today it's a uh, Sunday, right? Our process starts from today. Uh, you know, so as always, uh, I'm uh, you know going over a lot of charts uh, to get myself ready for tomorrow, uh, another week. Uh, the market has been hard last week, right? Uh, it's been it's been good for like uh, two or three weeks now uh, <coughs> since that meme stock. So I hope you know the actions still continue for for next week as well um today um i'll you know i have a lot of kind of you know things or like the topics to talk uh uh you know in mind uh especially because I, i've seen uh like i've been getting a lot of dms from you guys i mean you know like pretty much like overs uh pretty much the same stuff but I think the most, uh, like probably the most common problems, uh, is, uh, you know, the daily max loss, right? And, you know, a lot of you guys, uh, make money in the morning <coughs> and then ended up, you know, going back to the well and then, uh, ended up, you know, giving back everything and plus some more. And, uh, also about, you know, stock selections as well, uh, I've been putting out a lot of, you know, uh, we're putting out almost like every day, uh, me, myself, Alex, and James as well, uh, you know, for like uh, the stocks for for uh, for you guys to trade or like uh, the stocks we are interested uh, for that day. And, uh, you know, for some reason I've seen like a lot of people, I don't know, you know, maybe your edge is different uh, you know, or maybe your stock selection is, is, is a little bit, uh, you know, different or like, you know, you guys trying to focus on some, you know, like totally something else. And, you know, for me, just keep it simple, guys. Uh, you know, uh, the low hanging fruit, uh, you know, the broken stocks like we see, you know, every day. And, uh, uh, you know, that's basically our process. Right. And uh, we've been doing this, you know, for quite a while now and you see myself james and a lot of uh, you know alex about also you know, just like day in and day out well we even gave you guys the lines to look at in the morning right uh, i mean you know the hardest part is really our discipline to follow that line and uh yeah it's it's like you know I've had you know i have a watch list here and you know all the questions you guys ask about i don't know uh, like OCGN here, the market cap is totally different off my kind of niche, uh, you know, and a lot of that, uh, you know, so it's, I mean, you know, you can trade basically anything you want, right? Uh, I mean, we're not here to tell you, uh, it's like what you should trade. I mean, at the end of the day, that's your decision, but, uh, it's just like, you have to keep in mind that uh you need to stick to what you're good at i mean you know if you're good at large caps you know i'm totally fine with that but uh uh you know but for us for myself uh as, as you guys seen me you know pretty much doing the same thing over and over again so uh, i'm just gonna go ahead and quickly go over some you know basically the charts uh that we've seen uh on uh, friday you know so those these are, are the type of stocks that I'm going to be interested on Monday, right? So, you know, the low hanging fruit, uh, just keep it simple. I mean, you know, like gray here, uh, you know, like it ran on Friday, right? You know, uh, all the way, I think it was, uh, due to some conference or, or something like that. It went to 880 and then tang. You see, you know, this is like, I don't even have the line here, okay, guys. You know, all I have is the pivot, and if you look at the pivot line, you know, you can tell how to start conform to that line, right? And it's there, okay. Seven point five, seven point six. That's a pivot. Oh, look at that. I mean, what else? You know, 
you know, of an edge that you want to see from that type of stock. I mean, there's, there's not much, and you know, and this is like, I don't know, I could say holy grail or like all the indicator that you need. But, you know, that's all I need in trading. I mean, yes, I could be wrong. Yes, you know, sometimes it, it happens, right? I'm going to short here 7.5. Yes, it could, might break 8 or 8.5. Yes, I'm going to stop out, okay? It's not that. Uh, it's gonna break 7.5, go to 11, and I'm I'm still adding to uh, to to the loser, right? That's what separates the pro traders from the rest, right? And that's what separates from a CPT from a non-CPT. So, like CPT, you know, uh, is consistently profitable trader. Yes, like you know, I said, uh, I talk about this before, consistency, right? But even if you have a consistency, but you are not consistently profitable, that's two different things, okay, guys? Consistency and consistently profitable, that's two different things. Uh, you know, don't mix that up. Don't think you are, you've been consistent, uh, but, you know, you're not making your money, right? Because, you know, your win rate sucks and, and, and uh, all that. I mean, you know, the average winners compared to average losers, uh, you know, what I talk about in back testing. So a lot of people confusing about the stats, the win rate. Who cares about that, guys? I mean, at the end of the day, it's all about making money, right? And that's and that's what you should uh, focus on. I mean, I could be wrong like 10 times here, you know, paper cuts and all I need is one trade to get it all back, right? That's that's uh, the risk reward uh, I want on that trade. But uh, yeah, back to that broken stocks. You know, we have a lot of videos on this. You know, like you don't have to trade something like, yeah, I've seen people trade no uh, NOVN showing the front side. I mean, look at this. Draw a line. You can see it for yourself. Okay. I don't know. Maybe from here to here. You see that? Trending, right? And, uh, you know, if you keep fighting on the front side, of course you're going to get a stop out. But, if you wait for the backside and if you app much more easier right yeah yeah I'm just not gonna go uh, too much details uh, on this uh, but again uh, AMD low hanging fruit right you see that pop here you know 7.5 7 line I mean so easy right uh, what we have here Matt yeah sucks kind of sucks it didn't pop at all uh on friday i was expecting for it to get a seven and you know even to eight but uh, you know it just ended up fading away way you know straight from the open uh six to like five so uh there's not much i can do any uh that was uh my low hanging fruit uh on the watch list was three three was the line you know look at that pivot just hits perfectly Hey guys, my name is Tosh Bradley. I'm one of the head mentors and monitors at My Investing Club. If you have any questions about getting started in trading, getting started in MIC, MIC in general, text me at 213-458-5997. This is not a robot. It is me directly on the other end of my business line, and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up. Back to the video. Right. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't know what else... Uh you know, you guys want, uh, you know, on something, you know, on a low hanging fruit, uh, you can size up on those and not stress about that being, you know, getting squeezed right on day one. So I think that's, that's a huge edge for the new traders. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's something that you can build your account upon, uh, you know, based on that setup only. So I'm just going to go ahead and over talk about this AMST trade and just real quick. And uh, we're going to uh, I'm going to talk about something else uh, the, like the main topic that I just want to talk about. Uh, so AMST, right, you know, went to seven, tang all the way to like four. So broken stocks to me, I show into that resistance, uh, you know, who and half dollar mark. I still have like another one at five, which is, uh, you know, pretty much a solid one. Uh, uh, and uh, you know, and at the open, it just pop into that 4.5. Yes, I have a bunch on the table. Uh, yeah, but uh, you know, almost like uh, 50 cents here, right? Uh, quick, uh, easy, stress-free kind of trade. That's what I'm looking for every day, 
right? Uh, you know, hold in half the low mark, guys. You know, remember that. And you see this resistance from this one? Resistance becomes support, right? When you keep that with hold in half the low mark, I mean, that's a great line. Okay, and five, five point five. You know, if you want to go that, yeah. And one more thing about scaling. Uh, you know, a lot of people, like, of new, uh, like new guys, uh, saying, you know, like Tom, I have three bullets here. One, uh, uh, excuse me. Like, uh, I'm I'm drawing a line. Okay, like three lines, right? But usually when it gets to this line, I have really like a starter only, right? So my advice on this is, okay, so if you knew and you're not good with scaling yet, okay, I'm not saying that you should go full size, but on something like a broken stocks like this under view app, right? Choose your one good line to get in, okay? So you could get in, I don't know, 50%, 50 it's under view app, right? I mean, it's not over view app that you have to scale like, you know, 30%. Okay. So, I mean, if the style was like at 5.5, .5, yes. If you want to short it six, six, seven, uh, six point five or seven. Yes. I could understand. You should go with, you know, just the on like only the, like the starter, but on something like this, for me, I split only like two bullets and that's it. 4.5 and five. It's like 50, 50. Like almost like not full size, but you know half of the size I want, right? So uh, on something like this, uh, you want to get in with good amount of size uh, because you know I gave the stock enough range already. You know, 4.5 to 5. That's 50 cents range. I mean, that's pretty good enough. So I don't want to be having a starter here and then uh, you know scaling, scaling all the way to like uh, uh, you know five with my full size. No. I just want to get in here and here and that's two bullets that's it if you're not good at two bullets go with one bullet okay doesn't matter uh just go with whatever size you're comfortable here so let's say your full size is let's say 1000 or like uh, i don't know uh 1000 let's say like that uh so and or like if you are comfortable losing 500 bucks right just get in 1000 shares and risk five five ten or whatever eight hundred shares six six hundred shares instead of getting like 100 200 here just as starter and then when it start cutting bounds it's like you end up getting really small kind of win and you know which is not going to be able to pay uh, for the rest uh, of the the trade because because when you lose usually you're going to lose on the full size on on scaling right because on on scaling it it's really important to know that if you're scaling on the way up you need to add once the stock confirms and sometimes that's not easy guys for for the new guys and you know i wouldn't recommend that uh, just wait for the stock to go under view app and go with whatever size you are like whatever risk that you are comfortable to lose okay just pick up a good line and risk whatever based on that instead of scaling you know uh like, I don't know, overview at 30%, uh, 30%. But then when the stocks end up working, you have to add back the, 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 the shares that you wanted. Okay. Because if you don't add, you're never going to be able to capture the move. And thus, you know, when, when you win, it's going to be really small. It's not going to cover, it's not going to be enough to cover your losses as well. So you have to choose. Okay. For me, uh, I, prefer you know the type of of a trade that i can pick out one or two good lines what i'm what i'm using is only two two bullets and that's it the only time i would scale is on the low hanging fruit the low hanging fruit that's that's different because i know it's broken i know style is trying to pop i just want to get higher you know just higher the better for me uh you know if stock could pop uh you know into a certain lines I would be scaling up, but I'm not adding to loser, right? Because the stock is really broken, you know, and as the stock pops higher, I just want to have more shares on those. So on the low hanging fruit, that's a, that's a different. And sometimes, yes, it could have some news and could squeeze me, right? But I've tracked my stats, the low hanging fruit, you know, the chances are they're going to do that is really low. I don't know, like maybe out of 10, maybe I might do it once, right? 
uh, uh, one out of ten or something like that uh, you know if that happens I have a mag my max daily loss to kind of uh, you know protect me from going nuts so uh, that's what I'm using and to talk about uh, you know daily max I think the daily max loss is really the holding grail in trading okay so this is the secret guys uh, we've been talking about this uh, over and over again and uh, the daily max loss is something that's gonna protect you uh, you know like basically from going nuts right if you if you want to be successful in this game I think daily max is is the must you know half kind of thing and this is like the most single important rule like I think this is the most important rule that you have to stick with no matter what because if you can't even abide that rule right so what's the point okay guys so I mean I don't care about you know from like I really don't care what is your strategy I really don't care how consistent you are I don't care you know how much money you make okay but if you don't follow that max daily loss loss kind of rule you're never gonna make it I you know I can guarantee because you know as a trader that fuck up day is gonna come sooner or later you know don't tell me that you you have mastered your emotions completely no no one can do that okay guys let me repeat that no one is immune from the emotions okay there's no way that you can eliminate uh, like uh, there's no way that you can remove or eliminate uh, emotions completely there's no way Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.